Well, well, well. Look what we got here. The missile launcher's working. That's cool. God damn. I'm gonna check these guys as I always do. I know I'm not gonna find anything, but I'm gonna check them anyway. There we go. Okay. Anyway, let's finish up this Brotherhood stuff. Maybe we'll learn how to make the Brotherhood combat armor or something. Which uh, is good, because we have one piece of it that's already like, mm, beautiful. And, and we'll see. Thank God this fucking gate's open. All right, elevator door open. Uh, the fourth floor, I think? Question mark? Uh, maybe? I don't know. I need to get to his terminal. Right, oh hey, power armor. That's bad. Bad power armor. I don't need that. Hold on a second. Y'all hear that, right? It's the fucking sledgehammer, goddammit. It's the, the, the jet part of it. Going or whatever. Anyway, scribe Grant. What do we got here? Let's see. Last plea. Another scribe you need, but it is in my idea. Wait, that's not what I want. God damn it! That's the stupid. Oh, go get a thing. Get rid of that. I don't want. I don't want to deal with that nonsense. Uh. Yeah, it was back here. Right. The nuclear option. Did we listen to that? I don't think we did have listened to that before. <clears throat> Elder Maxon's final conversation? Hmm. Interesting. Well. <clears throat> Alright, I think we couldn't get in here before because we didn't have a... <clears throat> Paladin Taggarty's ID and stuff. A Scorch Beast Analysis. Actual Sierra Bravos are reinforced mobile and cutting predators. Bravos use Exelon to... Calling ground reinforcements. Breeding cycle for Bravos is off the charts. The saving grace in all this is that the Sierra Bravos only nest in specified places. We found three nests in the old mining tunnels below the bog, but there's a main nest somewhere, the real problem. We just saw the Bravos from spreading outside of Palatia and possibly come in an extinction event. We have to destroy their main nests. The ultimate solution. Hey, I got a combat leg. I got a photo, and I got the emergency transponder lost. Anything else? No, okay. Every last Bravo needs to be destroyed. Maxim forbade using nukes, but... A few years back, we found one of the old missile silos, and the old security system was formidable. As a last resort, we need to find a way in. Senior Sam Blackwell, or Senator Sam Blackwell, was on the Nuclear Energy Committee. We might know something. But no one knows where his bunker is, except maybe Quinn Carter or the, Harl the Charleston Herald. Blah. One way or another, if touchdown fails, the nuclear option may be our only option. Maxson's orders be damned. Everything is different. We send information to Lost Hills, and then we see and about what we see and what we face, and they have a hard time of believing it. Some of the things they face are equally strange to the new plants, animals, and monsters. It's hard to keep track of. To some degree, it's... I've given up on trying. One thing is clear, these Scorched and the Scorched Beasts are something different. We need to focus on them. All the other threats, even the hulking mutant... We can handle. 
But how we handle the scorched. Four logs, blah 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 blah, for defiance. Let's see, camp venture serves well. Victorium, what is the satellite down? We lost contact with USA 1103 today. Graham's got the backup up already. Elder Max said we have to accept that there'll be point. Yeah, anyway. Okay. Up in Portland. Billy the Beast. Completed. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Item aboard. Our armor chassis. Blah, blah, blah. Plan for a minigun. Cool. Okay. Ah. Uh... Minigun plan. There we go. I can make it now. They gave me a power armor chassis? Oh, they gave me this. The chameleon combat left leg. Roadie. Get the hell out of my inventory. Also, they gave me the power armor chassis. Does it have anything on it? Oh, it does. It's Ultra Sight? What? I can't believe it's weaker than what I currently have. Torso, torso. Yeah, it's like one weaker than my current shit. What the hell? And then I guess the energy and radiation is less as well, but it looks so much cooler. Look at this. Look at that. Man, I want it, but at the same time, I'm like, eh, fuck it. You know? How much 10 pounds we can hold on to it for now? But, uh,. Yeah. Anyway, what else we get? I think that was all for that. What about weaponry? Did we get anything good there? Right, I still have the Mute Slayer Cry later. I'm gonna drop that. Okay. Also, the 50 caliber machine gun, I tested it out on some Super Mutants and uh, Yao Guai, and it didn't seem to cause that glitch. Who knows if it'll, you know, cause it down the line here. But anyway, we uh, grabbed it, and we'll see how that goes. That's everything. Let's listen to Elder Maxon's final conversation. Lizzie, Takano says the satellite's failing. So, this is it. Elder, I'm not ready for this. Can't the scribes do anything about it? No. The infrastructure of the old world is failing. But you are the absolute best second in command I have ever had the pleasure of working with. Now is the time for you to be in charge, Lizzie. I know you're up for it. I know you won't let your men down. Roger. We don't have the men for the mission. The Bravos just keep coming. Yeah, Maxon's definitely dead. It almost be like a, uh... Fuck. You trust the outsiders too readily. They will betray you. You too, Paladin. Everyone around me keeps saying, shut the world out, only look out for ourselves. Even my goddamn son. But the Brotherhood alone can't rebuild what's lost. We need them. Hell, our whole plan is for them. I'm not thinking about some far-off future, Elder. I'm worried about today. And tomorrow. We're fighting non-stop to keep the Bravos contained. I can't afford a weak link. I trust your judgment. If our scribes find anything new, I'll see if we can get word to you somehow. And Lizzie. Oh, and Lizzie. I guess that's all. Um, yeah, I think the Mel, uh, Elder Maxon from Fallout 4 is either Roger Maxon's son or his grandson. One of those two. I'm thinking grandson, since Elder Maxon's in four is pretty young, and this is only what twenty-five years after the bombs fail. I think. Eh. Anyway, we also had a good one, didn't we? We had the nuclear option. Is this urgent, Lizzie? Elder, 
I've read Scribe Takano's reports. I've talked with Grant a lot, too. I've talked with Grant a lot, too. It was the last line, in case you didn't catch it, because it went kind of quiet. Just FYI. Spit it out. The sonic generators work, but... There are just too many Sierra Bravos. This strategy of ours... It's just delaying the inevitable. You're not giving up on me. No, of course not. But... I think we may need something bigger. More final. Go on. One of the squires on patrol found a nuclear silo. Still functional. What? Even you, Lucy? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Look around, look at everything. The death, the destruction, the end of the world. That came from the nukes. But if we don't deal with the Bravos once and for all, they could kill everyone. All life on this continent. That's what Takano said. Right? There will always be a reason to use a weapon, always. The nukes? Never again. I'd moth all the whole technology if I could. Am I clear? Yes, Elder. I consider this matter resolved. I don't want to talk about it again. Max and out. I think, yeah, military wing. Command. Boy, all right. Better get some launch codes, kitties. Hello, Charlie. Launch code solution. Um, obtrusively. Unhysterical. Wheezy. <clears throat> okay, let's listen to these. Two. During an actual launch, you will need to insert the card into the designated slot before entering your launch code, at which point the key card will be consumed. Additional card drops will be brought in by automated convoy should the DEFCON rating continue to worsen. You may speak to your logistics officer as to the location of the pickup for your additional cards should the circumstances arise. And oh, have they arisen. This DEFCON rating the General speaks of has been pegged at its maximum for some time now. Due to the hazardousness unleashed by our earlier guests. The silver lining of this is that one can often find a keycard convoy en route somewhere in Appalachia. We're happy to use our restored surveillance tools to help you track them. Access any hmm. of the surveillance system terminals to initiate your hunt. Well, I got two, so that's fine. All right, next up, launch codes. To prevent misuse of Appalachia's automated missile silos, security measures for the region's nuclear arsenal have been increased well beyond any of our existing standards. Each silo has its own eight-digit launch code, eight. which is valid for a single week. These codes are broken into eight individual number letter pairs, each carried by a designated officer who is under strict orders to guard their code piece with their life. 
The order of numbers has been encrypted using a series of methods to prevent improper deployment. The bunker staff of specially trained code decryptors will provide the officer core with the code when it is renewed each week. The decryptors, it should come as no surprise, are dead. It no. will be up to you and your fellow members to decrypt each silo's launch code before they are regenerated. We, however, might be able to help. We've gathered all the information we could recover related to the codes and their encryption in the archives on this floor. It's also our belief that the flip card displays in this room had something to do with the code. What exactly? Uh, we leave up to you and your compatriots to uncover. Okay. And we are more than happy to use our surveillance systems to track down the last known locations of these code-bearing officers. Excellent. We can expedite Just this process. Any of our surveillance terminals. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, next up. Automated silos. silos of Appalachia are equipped with an advanced robotic construction system allowing them to rapidly rebuild their arsenals in a matter of hours. The silos themselves are defended by a robotic task force and staffed with a contingent of special clearance human missileers. Security protocols require all silo entrants, regardless of rank, to be escorted by a missileer at all times. Entering a silo without escort will be treated as a hostile act. We're unable to peer inside the silos themselves, but we are confident in saying we doubt any such escort still okay. lives. You will be on your own once you right. enter the door. Right. Nuclear fallout and mutations. Due to the region's advanced missile installations, there is a high chance of a retaliatory nuclear strike touching down somewhere in Appalachia. The intense radiation released by such a blast can have devastating effects on the local flora and fauna, mutating them into hideous monstrosities fit only for quick death. To the contrary, General, our memory banks suggest quite the opposite. Our previous residents managed to acquire samples of some materials created shortly after the first bombs fell. And what they found was illuminating, to say the least. Materials of exceptional versatility and volatility. However, if you can stabilize them fast enough, a jaunt into a blast zone, it seems, could be a productive one. Documentation related to these materials can be found in the archives. As well, okay. the fissures that have cropped up around the region seem promising as possible sources of materials, along with some added pest control. The map in this room contains the locations of these fissures, if you're looking for a target. Excellent. So, those. Excellent. Now, before we go into anything else, I'm going to just search around real quick, like. And see what all we have here. What are these? An armory? What do you got? My dude. Catalan plasma, gauss rifle, gauss rifle. Short plasma, nothing special. We have an enclave hat and uniform, which I already have. Well, I have the uniform. I got rid of the hat, because fuck hats, right? Where's my rat away? There it is. Mm, give me that money. I'm going to go and get rid of these uh, super stim packs as well. And these orange mentats. And the berry mentats. And the buff out. Excellent. And this burnt comic. You know, missile state hollow tape. That's fucking too expensive for my taste there. Look, well, I can actually get a Gatling laser. Ooh, and a Gatling plasma. Mmm. 
Well, I think we'll go ahead and grab a Gatling laser for right now. Just so if I do need to make them or feel like making them, I can go ahead and do so. I think I have a lot of asbestos. Let's go ahead and sell that. A little fiberglass spools as well, because I know that's something I get a lot of. Night vision scope, medium night vision splitter. Scout armor lead lined. Ooh, an X01 tactical red lamp. And a VATS matrix overlay. Ooh, if only I had X01 armor. Cool. Anyway. Oh. Hello there, guy. Nice to see you. Mutated flora. Yellow cake. Okay. So the yellow stuff comes from actual materials. Good to know. Like actual plants. I guess. The mutated... Hmm. I guess... That's flora. That's flora. Okay. Okay, well, I guess just a variety of different things there. Gotcha. We have a uh, fluorescent flux, which comes from glowing fungus and rhododendron. And we have cobalt flux, which comes from blood leaf, firecrackers, glowing resin, split breen, split breen, breen shed corn, shed fruit. Max of that. Okay, cool. What are you? An archival terminal. Let's see. Schematical archives? Prototype power arm? Oh! I can now make X01 armor. Fuck to the yeah. Oh, um, let's see. Data lost, huh? That sucks. Probably some good information to have. Let's see. Data archives. Data lost. General. Style the code pieces. Throw it eight to camp. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Facility password added. Track down information on the. Oh. Probably because I looked at that. Access in the silos. I guess we'll go through all this stuff real quick here. Uh, trickling DEFCON. Okay. That's all for him. President, we have that. Slaves. And none of the other members will take me seriously, but I believe this is our most importance. We are slaves, Mr. Secretary. Okay. Sorry, Thomas. Okay. And then top secret archive. Final report. What? Kovac Muldoon project is complete. General of the Browser Congressional Bunker. Can you support satellites, missiles, and all? <clears throat> keep a couple reservations. I think we want to keep them out of the projects. Mm. Okay. Nuclear alarm logs. Okay. White spring connection diagnostics. Okay. Raven rock. Oh boy. Zax. Motherfucking Zax. Research team wishes to compare Zax archival data analysis with Modix. Is it interesting testing complete query again? Is the analysis interesting testing data, historical data, blah 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 blah. Hmm. Da, 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 da. Interesting. Zax was. I'm trying to remember. It was a com it, it was a computer that uh did things right. I don't know. I, I think I barely vaguely remember it from like the beginning of well, not the beginning, like the end of one of the other fallouts, like the early, early ones, like the uh, the isometric ones, like Fallout One and Two. I don't remember which one it was though. But. Alright, motherfuck! Fuck me! There we go. Let's do this again. Come on. There we go. Come put out a wrench. Excellent. Okay. Let's see what we can do with my X51 power armor now, hmm? Okay, excavator, prototype X51. Perfect. 
Okay, I actually make some of it too. Um, uh, my bottleneck seems to be going to be gears, I think. Okay. Well, let's go with the helmet first. Ooh, shit. Definitely gonna be bottlenecked here. Okay. Like that. Let's get the left arm going next. Well, I can make both of the arms. Excellent. Fuck, I need steel. Go ahead and take that for search. Okay. Um, switch to modify. Let's go ahead and let's see. The helmet is 68, 68. 68, 68. Yep, okay. The enclave one's just barely better. Go ahead and scrap that stuff. Excellent. We got the standard paint, the American Patriot paint, or the Tricentennial paint, huh? Here's what it looks like if we get the uh, American Patriot paint on it. Can I fucking much do it? Let's go. I just barely had enough to do all of them. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Oops! Didn't mean to pick it up, I wanted to look at it real quick. This one. How beautiful. Look at that shit, yeah. Alright, so we just need to get more steel and other materials so we can make our XO one power armor! Huzzah! Anyway, let me look back here, because I know they had some XO one modifications. They have the Vat Matrix, and they had the Tactical Red Headlamp. I'll look at this one. And the Vat Matrix overlay. I don't know what this does. Let's grab it. Uh, let's not grab it yet. Um... One second. Do they have a, uh... Damn, they do not have a fucking stash in here, do they? Damn it. That'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Just sell stuff here, huh? Damn, look at those fucking power armors back there. Come on up. Just let me no-clip through there and... I'm gonna grab some shit real quick, huh? Let's see. Ah. Well, I guess we'll just go ahead and equip the uh, different light for it. There we go. Again, I did not mean to collect it. Damn it. Well, let's just stay out of the power armor for now. We might have to actually get out of it to actually look at something here, so... What are these? It's a folder. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Surveillance system, surveillance system. Let's look at this real quick. Hmm, what do we have right now for keys? Oop. We have... Three Bravo and two Alpha. Let's go for Bravo. We only need five more. Right there? Yeah, you got it. Excellent. Okay. Now, Modus! With that out of the way, <clears throat> it's about time you got your hands dirty. That's the plan, my dude. There are a few key paths you should explore. Acquiring a nuclear key card, hunting down a few code officers, and delving into the nature of the launch code's encryption in our archives. Everything you need to get started, you should find in this space. How to proceed, though, we leave up to you. But please, feel free to ask our terminals if you have any questions. Good hunting, General. 
Okay. Acquire nuclear code piece. Okay, track down information about coding or blah blah blah. Um, okay, well, a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff to do. Of course, I can't just come in here. I actually have to fucking walk through everything every time I want to fucking access these goddamn terminals. Can I, like, <clears throat> queue up multiple of the same one? Oh, yeah, I can't do the same thing. God damn it. At least, like, let me do them all, right? <clears throat> like, an Alpha Bravo and a Charlie. That'd be good. Okay. Let's go up there first. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Can I say okay a few more times, guys? Is that alright with you, huh? Well, I figure what we'll do, it's Sunday, so that means the codes are going to reset here pretty damn quick. Um, we'll try and get some stuff going on right now for the next 30 minutes here. We'll see what we can do. But what I might have to end up doing is uh, when the launch codes do reset, if we haven't gotten a launch off, I'll uh, off, off screen. Here, uh, go through, get a bunch of codes, and then when we come back, uh, I, I might, what I might do is just get all eight for each site, and then I'll, uh, just have all, what, no, eight, 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 sixteen, 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 to, uh, you know, launch some nuclear weapons. I hear you. There you are, you bastard. Hello, baby. How you doing? your code piece. We mean sincerely that the officer is almost certainly now in a better place. If you require additional code pieces, please return to the White Spring, and we can aid you in finding the next. Okay. If this was your last, well, we look forward to seeing the fireworks. So that was number four, right? One, two, three, four, yeah. We'd have to get, okay, so here's the thing. We would have to get four more in order to launch one, or at least try to start launching one. That probably is going to take at least ten minutes. Now, I say at least, but uh, if you think about it, we have probably three minutes of going back through the White Spring Bunker, going through the fucking bulkhead, getting down there, hitting the terminal, then leaving again. So I think what our best bet would probably be, um, really? That's where Mama Dolce is? Okay, let's go here. Let's get that cold encryptor, because that'll be good for our uh, future. Anyway, we're not going to worry about the codes right now. We're going to do the codes later. Um, next time we'll do the codes. How about that? Well, we'll launch some nukes in the next video and uh, go from there. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, for now, what I think we'll do for the rest of this episode is we will get the encryptor, or decryptor, whichever, and then we'll start exploring the northeast. Kind of get that area nice and... Uh, yeah. And we'll see how that goes. Oh, yeah. Boom. ED, get out of here! Ooh, steel scrap, I need that actually, come here. Thank you. I don't know why I came up here and not went in through the main entrance, I'm dumb. Let me just... There we go! Yo, asshole! I do need steel anyway, so... Why not grab it? 
Interesting. Okay. There's gotta be a way to get into this pipe here. Right there. I never would have looked here before. Huh. I guess we know what that Mama Dolce key card's for now, huh? God damn it. You know how long it's been since we've. Since we've seen that? Holy shit. I, I cannot believe. This is where it leads. What in the actual fuck? Guns and steel, shiny sword. I'll take that. I can scrap it into steel. Has it though? I can't believe this has been on a fucking bumble dolce the entire time. Never leave. Ah, it really bugs me. I'm not unidentified, you're unidentified. There's a lot of fucking going on down there. And by fucking, I mean those little commie robots are getting fucked up with protectrons. Is that a commie flag? I wasn't getting shot at. But you know what I should do? I should just move my uh, my church to a place that has some steel, or I should just get a workbench that has steel. Yeah, that's the Chinese flag. Goddamn Chinese communists! Yeah, really, really, this place is under a food factory, right? <laughs> Go murder these guys. Hey -o! Oh, you were legendary. That's why you didn't die in one hit. I'm sorry. Let me kill you. There you go. Yeah, I, mean, I think this would like have an AOE hit to it. Apparently not, huh? 
Oh, a life-saving leather arm, huh? Cool, I can scrap that. Need an ID card for that, huh? So keep my goddamn eyes open. Let's check the security terminal here first, huh? Um, intense. Mutants. Okay, it's gotta be minimal then. All personnels. Mm, okay. Security procedures. All personnel should openly display a facility ID. Not as entry without our consent of the director. Also, nothing there. Okay. Shipment status. Assault rifle, munitions, stealth armor, officer sword. Tectron control. Sure, I can hit the unit. I'll kill it and get some good old fashioned experience. Security door. Open door. The other door is right behind me. Ah, oh, it is. Fuck key card, huh? Oh no, I'm trapped! They got me! Ah, oh, no. Protect! Uh, sorry, Protectron. We just weren't meant to live today. You stand still. Handy. I don't know why I said it like that, but whatever. Come here, I bot. Let's go. I think I fucked up. God damn. I wanted the microscope. There we go. Then here. Stealth lab terminal. Ooh. Notice all personnel. Okay. Stealth lab summary. Okay. this terminal here? Waste disposal system? Four party? Huh? Okay. Crack down information with the encryption. Oh. So it's this one? This is your initial evaluations. It's our first conclusion that the direction of the operation Trinitite should be adjusted. We con the contact we established among the local populace seems to indicate that the rumors we heard were false. The whispers of Appalachian factory cities must have been referring to the nearby Watoga, which does appear rife with useful technology. It's my personal suggestion that uh, Trinifite, Trin Trinitite? I don't know. Shift its resources over to focus on the exploration of this place for advances that it may be able to serve the party's ends. If there was one item of interest that we turn up, Possible encryption method of an American launch codes. It seems they'd begun a pilot program to break them up into multiple parts with a letter painted or paired to each letter or each number of the code. Spelling the English word will tell you the order of the numbers in the code, but the letters were encrypted using a technique called a keyword cipher, where the letters are transposed for others in a various alphabet. However, this keyword is determined or acquired we're still unsure, but it seems too valuable to not a, a fine not to share. Okay. Fucking keyword ciphers. Okay. I took a uh, a computer science course on encryption. 
And I know I used keyword ciphers there, but now I have no idea. It's been like a year I've not used them, so I have no idea how well they work anymore. Good thing Google's there if I ever need it. Oh look, chemistry workbench thing. Thank God I found that. Like seriously, like the chemistry workbench plans are the most worthless thing because they start out and like you start out being able to do it, can't don't you? Or am I mis in remembering? Because it has been a while since I've you know started out. But I remember we got one fairly easy, so I don't know. God damn. Ex excuse you? You fucking Chinaman? Chinaman robot? God damn it. Didn't mean to say Chinaman there, but now nope, it's out there now. Yep. I'm racist. <gasps> Come here, you little bastard. So this is a communist facility. Why were the robots fighting each other? Are the Protectrons were they sent in? By the uh like government or something? Or by Mama Dolce's? I guess. To get rid of the people down here. Launch bay, huh? Let's see. Contact. Nothing. Okay. Which means we can try through. Okay. Let's try anguish them. Yeah. Launch base summary. Security door. Open door. Over here. Now, thank God I came in here because. Wow, so useful. A little shit thinks he can just shoot me and get away with it, huh? I figured I didn't grab his tongs. I didn't hear a second tink. So we've got a cafeteria here. All right, excellent, that was all. Coolosis. All right. So, let's dump back a keyword cipher, which makes sense since there's a keyword and all that. Um. I guess the question is, where do we want to start exploring from? I was thinking there was some stuff around this. I know there's some stuff around this area, but I think there's also stuff around this area, maybe? Mm. Let's fast travel so I don't have to walk out, and we'll just start heading east. Yeah, if the Snallygaster was a forced evolutionary virus thing, then it makes sense that that is what was in New Vegas in 3, that multiple-legged, tentacle-faced atrocity. They just kind of reinvented it here for this particular one. And oh, Mama Dolce! Oh, fuck, I'm getting thirsty as fuck, huh? No, not my disease cure. Fuck. Better cap stashes. I don't take that. I meant to eat food, but I didn't have any. Salisbury steaks, I guess. There we go. Okay. Now let's head on east. Yeah, there's a railroad yard right over here. We can hit that up. That'll be fine.
I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh... No, don't, don't track... Okay, never mind. Got off my thing anyway. Wow, rude. Hey! I'm sorry I missed. My bad. Got some air, wouldn't you say? Metal box plans, dope. I already know. Shot me from there. <laughs> Traitors! Ah, right. Come here, you. Sorry, here you go. Enjoy that. Hey, buddy. the burned buck son of a bitch Bethesda please you know what Bethesda if you're worried so much about keeping our stashes low because of how many items are loaded into a goddamn game get rid of the burned bucks that are useless as fuck come on Jesus Hairbrush. Okay. Like all there is here. Oh. You know what? I don't really feel like uh getting supply caches on this. Well, fuck it, let's go. No, oh, no, damn it. What is that? Is it just a graphical thing? Looks like it's just a graphical thing. Okay. Old Nemesis, single action revolver grip. What's with this box here? 
now. Huh? Is there a spawner supply cache here then? Is it one of these? It's gotta be one of these. Then. Yep. I think that one found, right? Okay. Good. Oh yeah, paint cans. Give me that shit. Give me all this. Hell yeah. A lot of steel right there. Fuck yeah, boy. Oh yeah, if I could just grab these burnt textbooks, I don't care anymore. Just, just grab everything. I am a dirty slut for burnt fucking books. That's, that's what I am. Yep. Healing sal sal salves. Whatever. Words don't matter, they don't exist. Okay, anything to the west? Southwest, I guess. Not that I can really see. But we got the junkyard over this way, so. I think that's everything around this area. Not map, I meant to hit V. If I can see my cool ass running. Yeah, boy. Do my eyes glow? Yeah, they do. Ah, oh, that's what I wanted. Perfect. Yeah, so we'll reach this workshop here, which is the scrapyard, and then we'll uh, go ahead and end things there for today, everyone. This is actually the very first scrapyard that I uh, had ever visited, or the very first workshop I had found um, in the beta and whatnot, and uh, it was interesting. But yeah, <laughs> getting it for the first time. It's crazy how uh, out of order I did things on this playthrough compared to like the last time I did a playthrough. Rude. It's just crazy. Like, I did a lot more stuff near the vault before I left. And now it's just... Oh. I have nothing here. Cool. Damn it. Missed. There we go. So there's a... Uh, thing in here. He's got some stim packs and stuff, a lantern, some food. He's got a cooking station stuff here and a shotgun. Damn it! Damn it! Marsupial, please! I can't. There we go. Little stuff like that around here. Tick! There we go. A couple more ticks over this side. Yeah, that's gonna get fucked. Got it. workbench shed right here. That's just a lot of stuff. Excuse me? Oh, hey there.
And that's all the enemies here. Excellent. More Psycho, that's always good for me. Alrighty, y'all. That's everything for right now. Um, like I said, one thing's here for right now, and then, uh, next time, like I said, I'm gonna just frolic around on my own here, and we will, uh, I, I will, not we will, I will find all the launch codes for all, or at least one, of the, uh, the nuclear sites. Interesting. Anyway, I'll do that, and then we will uh, kind of go from there and see what we can find. Yeah, so we'll, we'll launch some nukes, have a good old time of it, and uh, depending upon how long that takes, because we're actually going to launch the nukes, go to the place, loot everything we can, hopefully, do all that fun stuff, launch another nuke, do all that stuff. That's going to be like a, the whole episode is what it's going to be. It's just us launching nukes, gathering stuff, and crafting stuff, possibly. Yeah, we'll see how all that goes. And uh, then, I mean, we have all of this up here. All of this. There's Deathclaw Island right here, apparently. Um, which I've heard about. Never seen. We'll see what all that is. There's a lighthouse here. There's some farms and stuff here. There's more stuff down here. There's this Mothman Museum. And there's, like, all this stuff up here. Like, you can see, like, this is the border of where we still need to go. And we have not done anything near Vault 76. Whereas previously in my beta character I went up here, like all this stuff, and then I just went like east. Yeah, but I've never been over here. I've never been really up here too much. Or around here, so, you know, we'll see what, uh, what happens when we start exploring and all that, but get hyped for some nukes next time, ladies and gentlemen, because we are launching them next time. It's the last thing I do. If it has to be a fucking two-hour video, of me launching nukes, it's gonna be a two-hour video of me launching nukes. Okay, everyone? Okay. Well, until next time, then, I'll catch y'all later. Bye now.